Okay, in this video we're going to look at meditation, what is it, why bother doing it, different approaches to it, a lot of bullshit out there on the internet, let me set it straight. Definitely one of the best personal growth practices you can do. Lots of studies on this in terms of my own personal experience, it makes you smarter, it makes you a bit less of an asshole. Uh, it helps with your fitness, it definitely helps with dating and attraction, um, it definitely helps with productivity and success. It's free. You don't need to buy an app. You don't need to pay them a lot of money. It's fucking free. It's relatively straightforward, simple, but perhaps not easy. We'll come to that. Uh, the technique, you can learn the tech. There's lots of techniques, but you can learn the techniques very quickly. It doesn't take long either. Like start with 10 minutes a day, move it up to 20 or 30. It's fine. Lots of reasons to meditate. Uh, if you don't, don't believe me, by the way, don't fucking believe Uncle Mark. Fucking, don't believe a word I say. Instead, Try it, try it, do it for a week. You'll find it hard because um, you'll be sitting there and you'll use your brain. Be, da, 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 da. You don't have to, empty, to have an empty mind, okay? That's a myth. Um, give it a try, see if it feels good, see if it helps you. Almost, almost everyone, unless they've got hardcore trauma that tries this, is going to find it really benefits them, okay? You can meditate any posture, sitting, standing, lying down. Um, however, sitting is the norm. I sit on my couch, you can I sometimes use a rolled up towel behind me. The key thing is you'll let your knees are not up here because then your pelvis rolls, your diaphragm collapses, and it's not such a good position. Yeah, so somewhere where you've got, if I was sitting here, just put a cushion behind me. All right, boom, done. You don't have to be in some esoteric position. Or, you know, you can do this. I just put, usually put my hands together you can, you know, if you want. It doesn't really matter. What matters is you're relatively upright, comfortable, yet relaxed key thing different techniques i recommend something body based you know we're embodiment that's what we're all about here paying attention to the body you can systematically scan the body you can just every time you feel some sensation in the body just say to yourself feel feel in your own head and this kind of keeps you present yeah this is like a, what's called a noting technique so you can feel 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 or you can focus on the breath some people find that stressful you got breath meditation or body scanning meditation two basic ones uh, there's a third one called meta it's more of an emotional meditation i'll do that another time uh, but start with one of those two 10 minutes a day it takes about 10 minutes to really kick in that's the sort of what's called minimal effective dose in my experience and when to do it normally first thing in the morning Middle of the day, bloody hard. Late at night, some people like might go to sleep though. If you go to sleep, you're not meditating. It's about being awake. It's about being more awake, more present. That's the point. that's the key thing. Bringing your attention back. Your attention is your superpower for everything else in life. Whether it's focusing on your business, focusing on you know whatever you want to get better at in the gym, whatever. Your attention is a superpower. So that is the first. It's like sharpen your fucking saw, mate, before you try to try to chop down trees. Yeah, that's, that's a metaphor. You don't have to be a lumberjack, don't worry. So focusing on the body or the breath, it's the body either way actually. Your mind drifts, you start thinking about what you've got to do later, bring it back. First thing in the morning is a good time. Don't fucking do your emails, don't do your social media, that's gonna wreck your brain. Do it before that shit, before that shit. Even if you have to have an alarm clock so you're not on your phone straight away, yeah? 10 minutes, that is a beginner. If you can work it up to 20 or 30, great. If you miss a day, it doesn't matter. Get back on the horse, just do it. You will notice a difference. I've given this, I've given meditation as a practice to literally thousands of students. Not one of them has come back and said, that was shit, didn't want to do that, I'll never do that again. They nearly all come back and said, that was brilliant and I continued, or that was brilliant, but then somehow I forgot and da, da, da. So it's also about developing discipline. For me, it's like, don't miss a morning. I meditate. Sometimes I say six days a week. I do seven days a week now. Yeah, even if it's just a, like a few minutes. If you can't do 10 minutes, start with three. When I worked in Sierra Leone with soldiers, they were pretty fucking hardcore traumatized guys. And um, we couldn't start with 10 minutes because they were too agitated. They were paranoid. So we started doing like three minutes, one minute, just little meditations built up to 10 minutes. It took about a week to build up to 10 minutes. They got there and their heads are all over the place. You know, it's a pretty messy wall there. So um, teaching meditation. Um, yes, get, get go to a group if you can. Find a teacher if you can. Uh, if you want a guided meditation, I've got some on YouTube, but there's also apps. I like Buddhify and Brightmind. Brightmind and Buddhify. Brightmind's kind of like quite scientific, quite logical. I think it's pretty guy friendly. You know, find something that works for you. If the first one you find is unicorns and rainbows and bullshit, don't do that, find another one. If it's some breathy ass Californian voice, fucking find another one. It's 
plenty of good teachers out there. Vinnie Ferraro, Shinzen Young, there's loads of great teachers. It's a whole fucking world, actually. There's a whole, whole type of education we just don't get at school. Meditation will be absolutely become a lifeline. You know, I've used it in my life through my dad's death, through fucking working in Ukraine, through thick and thin, it's a lifeline. And, um, you know, if you have some anxiety, if you have addictions, any of those things, this is, it's going to be a very fucking useful thing. So you don't have to be all spiritual. You don't have to be yogic. You don't have to sit in a funny way and say kumbaya and om and all the rest of it. Just sit quietly, pay attention to your fucking body. That's it.